Hello, girls. Um, I am Mr. Wong, and today I would like to um do a demonstrations about how to use uh Repeater to create a program which is related to um calculating area of triangle. First of all, um, in the Repeater, when you open the Repeater, uh, you will see a in the main screen that we have. A, a two o four shape, which is a start and end. Um, this is represent the flow chart, the starting point of the flow chart, and the end point of the flow chart. For uh, calculating the um, area of triangle, we need to have two input, as I mentioned that in the uh, in lessons. So we need to jack two inputs um, to the flow chart. Okay, one. And uh, before we need to um, uh, add a input, uh, sometimes the program will, will ask you to save. So I will try to save it in the desktop. This is the class practice number one. Okay, dot vector. Dot vector. And you see that we already input a um, a input box. And next, I try to input another one. Okay, so we have two input uh, to the to the program. And and then we need to double click the, uh, one of the input <coughs> to mention that we would we would like to input the um, the base of the triangle okay so but pay attention is that uh when we need to uh, have some pop up we need to have a double code uh at the beginning and the at the end of this of the statement okay so i add a double code and type please input the base of triangle okay and then uh double code at the end of the statement and as as mentioned uh in the in the in the lessons we need to have some variable actually this is a bucket like a bucket to store um the information what we need um here we will have uh b as a base of the triangle okay so we're done you see here this is the statement and then we will have a get b it is uh talking about we will put the value input by the user to the B. And then we double click another one. Uh, we type please input the height of triangle. Okay. And double call at the end. And then we use H, small letter H as a very name of variable. So we're done. And then actually we will input two value. When we try to execute it, when we go to the input, there will be a um a box uh, popped out and ask you to input the value. So I will type maybe seven, okay. And then I will type three at the height of the triangle. So here you will see that um, the value, the variable b, having the value is seven, and the var variable of h had the value is three. So what next is to have an assignment, uh, <coughs> assignment, uh, for assignment box uh, after input to value. And then for this assignment, we need to set the value. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to set a actually variable, which is the name of the variable again, which is a represent the area. Okay. Two. It means that what value is putting in a. In our case, it should be b times h. And then divide by two. Okay. This is the uh, formula of 
um, of a calculating a, a area of triangle. Okay, so in the assignment box, we have B times H divided by 2, and then we assign the value to A. So when we execute um, the program, you will see input 7, of 7 is the base of the triangle, and then 2 is the height of the triangle. And after that, A will be 7 times 2 divided by 2, which is 7. So area of triangle is 7. And uh, we need to have one more thing is to output the area of triangle. So we add an output box after the assignment, which is the formula of the calculating the, the area of triangle. And then we double click the output box. We can just uh, input that the area of triangle is. And then we need to concat the A. Okay, what is what is the area of triangle? Okay, so let us execute again. Start. Input the base of the triangle is 7 and then input the height of the triangle which is 2 and then we can output the area of triangle so here you can see that the area of the triangle is 7 okay this is the end of how we can uh, manage or using the flowchart using a repeater to calculate the area of the triangle.